Hello, welcome to another show. I'm Sid and in today's video I'll be going over how to edit and update filters on Instagram and Facebook using Spark AR Studio and the Spark AR Hub. Uh, I have two filters which I've created and which are both live now on my Instagram. You're welcome to go check those out, shameless plug. But uh, I made them a while ago and the patches and the actual like programming part behind the scenes is not that efficient, it's not that great. So what I've done is I've gone through and as you can see this is the original one with just lots of uh, equals exactly's and counts and duplicate layers and all kinds of like little tricks that I was using to get this effect which is alternating between the foreground and the background layer. What I've done now is I've just kind of updated that so that instead of all of these uh, rectangles and all of these counts it's a little bit more simple. There's not as many uh, rectangles, not as many layers and no duplicates as well. It's just alternating between the foreground and the background. It doesn't affect the front end for the user but it's like optimizing the back end so that if I want to go in and make changes later on then it's easier to start from here than to start from like my beginner version way back when that makes sense so basically I have this filter and here's the updated version and what you're gonna do is well I've already done it for this one because I started recording this and I had to cancel it but what you do is you hit upload brings up this this menu same way that if you was uploading a new filter you want to make sure that it meets the file size requirements 10 megabytes for Facebook 4 megabytes for Instagram and if you click this it'll open up some website so don't even bother with that we're not publishing it as a new effect we're updating an existing one make sure that it's on your profile the one that you own and then are in control of and then select the effect that you want to uh, update a lot of these aren't submitted or aren't approved but I've been using them as tests so like uh, let's have a look the one we're updating is primary RGB so I'll hit that and then what you want to do is hit upload and it will upload the file to Spark AR Studio. I already did this step, so if we scroll over here, it'll open up the Spark AR Hub and pull you into the most recent filter that you're updating. This is the new uh, file that we've just imported into the program, or uploaded rather. And these are the two previous versions. Uh, this is the original one from December 15th. And this is the updated version that I updated immediately, 24 hours later as I start learning more. As you can see, this is the most recent one that's currently in review. Uh, and you can come back and you can look, you see that the delivery status of this filter is still active. So people are still able to use the previous version of the filter while this is in review to be updated. It doesn't change anything uh, on the front end for the user until the final effect has been approved. Now if I close this, and come over you can see the update is currently in review and once it's approved you'll either see an approved uh, check mark or a not approved check mark <laughs> this one wasn't approved uh, if you were wondering because it uses photos of real people which uh, apparently goes against the TOS or the terms of service so that one wasn't approved but yeah this one is updating now and it's in review I'm gonna cancel this and I'll show you very quickly I'll just minimize this and I'll minimize this I do have another filter. So this one's the orange gradient. When you tap on the screen, it increases the gradient of the background by 10%, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, all the way up to 100 until the background is completely uh, opaque, orange. And then the next time you click it, it reverses and you become the same color as the background. It's nice, it's pretty similar to the other one. It's just an alternating between layers effect. But as you can see, again, a lot of rectangles the incrementing of 10% at a time means that it's quite a lot of tapping and I've noticed that people don't really use this filter as much as some of the other ones so I wanted to make it simpler. This one does have kind of more of a front end user uh, impact because what I've done is if we come over here you'll see that I've switched it. There are less rectangles now. There are only like uh, there are less rectangles because I've uh, increased the increment. I've decreased the increment to 20%. So now it's 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 and then it reverses. That way the user doesn't have to tap on the screen 11 times to see every version of the filter, every layer that I've added. Uh, I think it's nicer, I think it's a little bit simpler. It looks simpler on the back end as well, there's not as much going on. Uh, which This is just weird and like <laughs> kind of annoying to have to go in and like zoom out and move. Look how big this patch edit has to be just to fit that in. Feel me? Like I could pull this down a little bit I think and we're looking pretty good. So yeah, this one I haven't, I've tested already, but I haven't uploaded yet. So we'll make sure it fits all the file size requirements. There's no images, no animations or anything. So it's definitely going to fit. It's definitely under 4 or 10 megabytes. Uh, for updating this effect, make sure that you're the owner of the account. 
and then select the effect you want to update. In this case, we're doing orange. And then you hit upload. This time I'll actually do it. And once that's done, it will automatically open uh, the Spark AR Hub in your browser. If you already have it open, it'll open in a new tab, so you can just play around with both of them. And as you can see, we've got the same thing here. So here's my December 17th, the first time I uploaded. This is the original file, and this is the file that's currently in review, updated today on February 7th. Uh, you can see it here, also in review, but the filter itself is still active for people to use while uh, Facebook and Spark decide whether it's uh, uh, an approval worthy update. Okay, so that is the entire video. Uh, I just wanted to show you very quickly how to do something like this. I was updating my filters anyway, so it seemed like a good idea. Uh, let me know in the comments if this was helpful. If you enjoyed this video, check out some of my other ones, which are more tutorial based and will actually teach you some things to do with creating the filters rather than just editing and uploading them. Uh, make sure you subscribe if you enjoy the content that I'm producing because I just hit 74 subs even though it's not showing publicly on my channel it is 74 in the back end studio uh, which is cool 75 is next and then 100 and then who knows anyway thanks for watching I'll see you next time peace